To me, the climate issue is the most compelling human rights issue of the 21st century. Migration uh, out of the deltas in um, Bangladesh and in Vietnam uh, is happening right now. When millions of people, hundreds of millions of people will be displaced, we must find an organized plan. So in terms of the timeline, uh, we're in it. Layered on top of the already tenuous situation we're in as regards high levels of relative and absolute poverty. And now we are confronted with the, in, the new challenge of climate change. It's true and it's real in Tanzania. For example, there are effects on uh, drought. We feel so much of the impact, especially in droughts, livestock diseases. My country is only two meters above sea level. The water is getting salty and the people are trying hard to find ways to be able to drink their own water. There is increase of temperature, there is flood, erratic rain. For ordinary people, you don't have to say about climate change. They don't talk in terms of climate change. If you ask a farmer, you know, what's going on, he said, something isn't right, we don't understand. The changes are stark and noticeable. You know, I've visited sites where villages have had to be relocated, where food pits have been inundated. Because of the sea level rise, there is salinity intrusion in the coastal region of Bangladesh. The intensity of the problem will multiply. There is symptom of desertification in the northern part of Bangladesh. There is increased flooding because of the glacier melting in the Himalayan region. We have a coastal line of 1100 kilometers, a massive migrations because of the sea level. Our adaptation costs just on shore protection, let alone on you know, finding fresh water, let alone on growing you know, our foods. Just to have the land in, in place, uh, you know, we have to spend over three billion dollars. Six percent of our GDP is annually the environmental degradation cost. Our government had to switch some money from, say, anti-poverty programs or, say, uh, education programs to climate change programs. Last year, you you've heard about this food crisis mm -hmm. that affected uh, seven million persons in Nigeria. They they all cry. Uh, to, the, to, the, to the global community that climate change is impacting on their lives, climate change is destroying their livelihoods, and they look forward to a global deal. I think water is the area that is most uh, uh, seriously impacted by climate change. And there is a saying, every river is dry, every water is polluted. The projections are indicating that sea levels are rising at a much faster rate than initially projected. Some of the islands in the Caribbean, for example, Barbuda, is, is predicted to sink in 40 to 50 years. That's within my lifetime. I think the future for my people will be disappear. Our identity, our culture, our livelihoods will be disappear. Consider anything, loss of livelihoods, loss of assets, um, you know, displacement, all these are part of uh, greater uh, uh, you know, human dignity and, and human rights. And that human rights is violated fundamentally because of the change in climate system. We must act uh, rapidly to address the issues related to climate change to salvage this sinking globe. And if we fail to do so, then the future generation will not forgive us.